Hello everyone and welcome to the part six of the how to make a programming language series. It's been a while. Um, I didn't really plan to continue this series, but I've gotten requests to do it. So we're going to do that. Um, in this video, we're going to implement reading files because we have uh, uh, recently or previously just put in the source code as a string like this into the lexer. And we won't actually be able to read read it from the file instead, okay? Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. So the first thing I wanna do is create another file here called, uh, in our include folder, I'm gonna call it io.h um, because of the lack of a better name. And uh, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. And the first thing we're going to do is, uh, if not define IOH, define IOH and if. And uh, we're just going to call this, uh, this is going to return a char. So we're going to do char, let's just call it get file contents or something. And it's going to take in. Uh, a uh, file path, a path to a file. And we're going to copy this. Uh, sorry. I'm going to create another folder inside our SRC or another file inside our SRC folder called uh, io.c. And we're going to include include slash io.h paste that thing in here. Okay. Uh, first, we want to initialize a buffer. We're just going to do a buffer is equal to zero. And we're going to do a long length. Okay. And then we're going to read a file. So file, um, uh, file FP or file F is equal to uh, open open and the file path and we're going to do read bytes as a mode. Cool. And then we're going to check if uh, the file is not null. We're going to do a fseek f0 0 and uh, we're going to do a uh, seek end. And yes, I am reading from an old source code of mine because I, I never remember how to uh, do this. I should probably memorize it. <laughs> uh, and then we want to do length is equal to ftel f. And then we want to seek, so f seek uh, f zero seek set, and then we want to allocate some memory. So buffer is equal to callup uh, length length, and then we want to check if we have a buffer. If we allocated it successfully, allocated it, we want to do read buffer one length f um, and then we want to close the file and we want to return the buffer okay and then we're just going to do printf error reading file new line file path and we're going to exit to cool so let's see if it compiles it does not compile uh, first of all we need to include 
sdlib.h. We also need to include sdio.h. And there we go, it compiles. Cool. So now we can actually use this in our main function here instead of just putting the string like this. Let's actually copy this into a file called um, print.hello or something. I don't know. Also, if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll put it in the description. these things there we go so we're saying var name is equal to John Doe other name is Sarah and then we're printing printing those variables cool so now we're in our main.c we can do include include slash io dot h and we can get rid of this and we can do uh, instead we can do get file contents and let's just use the file from the argument list here so we're going to do arg1 okay and we're going to compile now we can run our binary here so dot slash hello uh, examples print dot hello and it works cool so now we're actually reading the file so that's much better now, what if I don't provide a file name here? Uh, we're just gonna get error reading file null. Maybe we should add some helpful message here. So if argc is less than uh, two, then we can just do print help. We're going to define another function here called void print help. And it's just going to print printf uh, usage. Um, hello dot out uh, file name. Compile it, run it. Now we're getting that. Oh, we should actually die afterwards. So exit one. So compile it again. And we should probably add a new line here as well. Compile it again. There we go. Usage hello our file name. Let's provide it. Examples print hello. There we go. So now we can uh, actually choose which file to execute. I wonder if our main file here works. It should work. So if we do examples main.hello instead, that works as well. Cool. So in the next part, or first of all, if you want a next part, please like this video and maybe comment as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any of my uploads, hit the bell button. So if there will be a next part, then we're going to look probably look at how, how to define our own functions. So we will implement function definitions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.